previously on Wendy Valencia. Oh, the last four months, I've been saying that we have 250000 plus worth of debt. So why have I been saying plus? We owe $50,412.19. Working our way through the Dave Ramsey baby steps, paying off $304,000 worth of debt. Ick. That's the first time I've said that. Hey guys, it's Wendy Valencia. On this channel, we talk about the realities of family finance. Sometimes things go the way you want and sometimes they don't. But the path that we take is always a consequence of our financial actions. There are choices and we have to own them. And that's what we do here in this house, eventually. My promise to you is that we will continue to move forward and continue to try and motivate you guys to becoming stronger financial independent families. Because if we can do it, you can do it. So if that is something that interests you, consider clicking the big red subscribe button down below. So a lot of you have noticed that over the past few months, our spending has really gotten out of whack. It was growing gradually in a big crescendo sort of way, culminating in a budget where we were well over $1,000 over budget. And that directly impacted our debt payoff for January. And as you all know, we just added $50,000 of debt to our debt snowball. And yes, we've always owed it and we've always known it was there, but we weren't paying on it. Why were we not paying on it? I don't know. I think it was more like um, like an ostrich head in the sand. If I ignore it, it, it won't exist sort of thing. The problem is that it did exist and we were blindly ignoring it. Just ignoring it. We always knew it was there. Deep down inside, we knew that we had this debt looming over us. And it became really obvious in my behavior. I started spending to, to cover up the stress associated with that new debt with the fact that I had not dealt with that debt yet. So I overspent and I overspent month after month. Not hugely overspent, but overspent all the same. And guess what? Overspending does not make you feel better. It actually makes you feel worse. I know a couple of times I was like, well, we have all this debt, so what's another $15? I mean, I actually said that in my brain as I was purchasing things. But I justified it by spending cash rather than debt. But guess what? Overspending, it doesn't make you feel better. It makes you feel worse. Not acknowledging that debt actually was making things far worse. And truthfully, getting this financial monstrosity out and in the open has actually really helped us focus on what's important. And what's important to us is being debt-free and having a strong financial future for Melina, being able to pay cash for her college, not having her start out in adulthood in debt. And so while I know that the process is going to be really long for us, longer than many, it's going to be about probably five years from beginning to end. We will win in the end and we will be debt free and we're going to make it. So did adding that $50,000 worth of debt to our debt total beat us down? Nope. You know what beat us down? Ignoring that $50,000 worth of debt, knowing that it was coming and looming and not dealing with it beat us down. So if you're out there and maybe you don't know how much you owe and the fear of looking your debt square in the face is terrifying to you and saying, yes, this is what I owe. I'm here to tell you that looking at it and dealing with it will help. It will be done. And from there, you can make a plan and move forward. But until you deal with it, you're stuck. And that stress is going to get to you. The fear is what will kill you. Once you have the knowledge, it'll set you free and allow you to move forward. And finally, we feel like we can do it again. So if you are new to my channel, make sure you click on my big laugh and face to subscribe and I will put up two videos so you can keep on watching. This video is my latest one and this one is one YouTube picked out just for you. So I'll see you in the next one. It'll be a lot perkier. See ya.